Oh, well, this got so much going on. I got a lot going on in the shop, guys. Uh, here's a Honda Shadow that I'm working on. Just finished the carburetors. I got the carburetors rebuilt. I just need some time to put them on. I got new manifolds. This thing is uh, being resurrected. So clean the carbs. Got those guys all ready to go, but I need more time. I'm working on other things. I got to get this Ducati done. I just put a rear tire on this one. Well, I mean, now, right now, I've done full Desmond service, uh, plugs, cooling, uh, water pump, thermostat housing, uh, Samco coolant lines. I did the fork seals, rebuilt the brake calipers, the front brake master, the clutch master, uh, rebuilding the rear caliper now. Just put a fresh uh, course of track day tire, front's already on. Now we're doing a 520 kit. Got the sprocket on. I just cleaned and made sure the bearings were all good and serviced and healthy. Everything looks good. And uh, inspected and good to go. So everything's healthy there. I did have a hard time removing the axle out. Like it was binding. I had to beat it out with a mallet. And uh, so we're going to have to see what's going on there. Definitely uh, binding up here. see doesn't like uh, doesn't like this guy here this is what what happens when you over torque the rear axle sometimes it'll sandwich these and uh, hurt them make it bind like it does so you're gonna have to figure that out might have to wallow out the spacer get it to fit better and then this girl I cleaned the injectors and still the injectors were stuck closed so I did get those freed up but This is what I'm dealing with. <sighs> so, I don't know. I'm going to have to troubleshoot this girl for some more. She just doesn't want to go home. But anyways, uh, transmissions get busy with that. I did Brandon Cox's uh, transmission for a C5 Corvette drift car. He is currently drifting in Formula Drift. Please give that guy a follow. He is awesome. Um, so, we replaced first, second, and third gear. A bunch of synchros and sliders and he's all good to go his uh, diff transaxles already back together went through the uh, rear diff he's got a spool in there put all new seals on it make sure everything's good sealed up tight so he can drift around without having a bunch of oil all over everything i did rebuild that transmission uh, it is good it's uh, going to shift good for him should be able to take the abuse for a while uh, i got other transmissions i rebuilt there those are good to go I'm rebuilding TR6060 and rear diff there. And uh, I got some others that I'm rebuilding. Got some parts come in, gears and sliders. Got some parts to, waiting on some uh, output shafts. I got some hardened output shafts coming. And you've seen some that have snapped right here. So we'll put them. I'm gonna build these transmissions with hardened output shafts. So hopefully those will be a little stronger and got tons of parts here. And billet keys and this is all parts I use and upgraded transmission parts and these are all uh, used uh, stuff that I kind of keep for spare parts in case I got a friend or somebody's heard a transmission maybe at a racetrack or something and they need something right away I got plenty of parts <laughs> uh, these gears a lot of these gears are gears I've replaced and no good um, you can see the teeth are Pretty hurt on my, most of them. This is the kind of stuff that's just worn out. These are the synchronizer engagement teeth. And when you start power shifting your car, this is where you'll start wearing things out as everything starts wearing in. This is the critical areas. These are sliders. The teeth on them match up to the synchronizers. As you can see. And that's about it. Here's a differential. This is a pinion from a Corvette. This is a C6 Z06 diff. And we're going to replace the clutch packs, washers, both sides, clean it up, get ready. That's about it. My car is still building. i got a lot of work left to do for to her before I can get her back on the road. But I did get my diff and my transmission done. That's my billet front plate from Tick. 
It's got some goodies in it. It's a 30 spline, and I've got my 30 spline rear diff. But hopefully, I have some more updates for you as soon as I complete some of this motorcycle work, get it out of here, and then I can focus more on building some of these transmissions so I can sell it, get some money to put some into this. <laughs> it's not cheap. Uh, but thank you for watching.